Hi, welcome to AutoCAD tutorial. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to dimension an isometric piping drawing. It's quite tricky. It's not as simple as you think. So let's go ahead without any further ado. First, select the layer for dimensions. Once you've done that, then go to Annotate Pan. Then you go to Aligned Dimension. Then select the points where you want a dimension from. And then if you type M and press enter, it will allow you to override the dimension text. Let's in this case say 2000. Then press, press escape. Then say yes. And then press with your left mouse button anywhere. Now the trick is, you see, it's not really the way we want it. So what you have to do is now to go here and select on oblique. Once you select oblique, then as you select the object, you select the object, press the right key, right mouse, mouse button, and then it asks you to enter an angle. For it to look good, we need to press 90 degrees. See, that's a trick, but the text is still not very good. So you need to select this again and uh, change this text to one that I've already created. I call this style one or if you select the text, if you select the dimension here you could also go to the text style which is here and you could change the textile to other things but what's special about the textile one I can show you very easily so if you click here and then say manage textiles um, and if you go to style one you can see here is oblique angle is 30 degree so it makes more sense to change this to angle 30 name so it's it's more representative of what it is make sure that that's also applied and that's how we make our isometric dimensions so I'm gonna have a lot of videos in this tutorial series please don't forget to check my playlist on my channel and continue learning more about doing AutoCAD drawings particularly isometric piping drawings Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.